Coach Marinelli, talking to you, you're, you're very high on the college wrestling and promoting it. Okay, you're a two-time All-American yourself. Tell us about your experience as a Buckeye and you know what you did to be a two-time All-American and how that, that physical style on top. Well, I, just, I guess I took advantage of what I've got. I was kind of a little bit long and, and lanky, so I was, I was a lot better on top than I, I guess I was on my feet. Uh, but just like Gene, uh, I, I, I really like to score a lot of back points and, and, and pin guys, so I was pretty tough on top. And, uh, and a college guy, you're just not going to be able to turn him without, uh, like you said, co coercing him a little bit. So I, I like to run legs and high halves and spiral rides. And Lot, lots of uh, pressure and giving the guy a reason to go over. Yeah. Coercion, as we mm -hmm. said. My high school coach was really uh, big on the spiral series at Mills. He kind of influenced me a little bit on that, along with Bob Dealey. Okay. We talk about you, you've coached multiple D1 All-Americans, Okay, both of them bigger guys mm -hmm. with Fickle and Preston. Mm -hmm. Okay, A lot of D2, a lot of D3 All-Americans. Why do you? Th why is the college wrestling so important to you, Mark? Well, I, I you know what I really think, Zeb, is that uh, in college wrestling they really let you wrestle on the mat a lot more than they do in high school wrestling, and that was probably where I was strongest at. So I, I like to I like to go to a match and watch guys compete on the mat, whereas opposed to um, having it all on their feet. Where the referee dictates a lot. Kind of like what we do in Ohio. Exactly. I'll and then you know, not to not to be a rip session on the Ohio no, rest, but no. our style of a wrestling is is different than that of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Oh, by far. And that's why they seem to excel when it comes to college, as opposed to you know we don't have as many qualifiers every year, and yeah, we, we we struggle. We don't struggle. We're Ohio, but they got a leg up on us. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. What, We're what real you competitive. Think? I just. You know, some pockets of the state are really good on, on the mat. Like St. Ed's is really, really, really good on the mat. And I think that Graham's become a lot better because they they're, they've put some more focus. They've got a lot of guys who are better on the mat. But outside of the Northeast Ohio, the rest of the state really doesn't uh, commit, emphasize, it. emphasize the mat. That's one of the reasons I like have Gene in here today is to, to get some of my Central Ohio guys and the Liberty guys really focused on what it takes to, to turn somebody on the mat. Okay. Your physical style, you know, coupled with kind of, you're adding in that physical style now, bringing that to Ohio. What do you think it's going to take for our officials to change? Well, I, I don't, I don't know if necessarily they need to change, as, as that we need to become more technical on top and, and make it make it a uh, more of a pleasing style to right. them. Right. Yeah, like Gene says, it, more points, more offensive uh, turning people, and not just trying to ride them. Yeah. So and I think I think we need to be technically uh, a little bit better on the mat, but I think we might need to give our wrestlers a little bit more time. Okay. Yeah, give them a little more time. Cuz I've talked to you before about this and talking about guys maybe getting matches taken from them and you said no, they didn't take it from them. You know, they didn't do enough to win. You and I've talked about this right. before. You're like and you don't even get mad about it. You're not even like someone who gets wants to kick the chair or anything. No. It's just your guy didn't do enough to win. Yeah. And that's the way you look at it, huh? Yeah, this way. Yeah, exactly. So Maybe give them a little more time if there was one thing we were to say about it. Yeah, give them a little bit more time to establish something on top. Okay. What's uh, what's next for you, you know, t bringing this style to Central Ohio? More Gene Mills? More Gene Mills and more. Me, me just teaching it to my guys a lot more. All right. And All right. More, more better on the man. All right. Well, Coach, we're looking forward to the uh, Liberties coming up, man. We know that it's, you know, we went from 17 to 40 this year to hopefully 60 this year. And yeah. We have a real nice 20-team middle school tournament that we're hosting here December 13th, and I'm trying to couple a high school tournament uh, with it on the same day. So I'm trying to do a lot to promote the sport. And you know what, Zeb? I like to I like to um, get all my youth to go to the Ohio State matches. Yeah, so but let's I, talk about that. Yeah, Ohio I, State, you're you're a, I mean you're a two-time yeah. All-American. Yeah. You are a firm believer. I believe Coach Ryan's kids live in this district. Yeah, Coach Ryan and Coach Rosselli's kids both live in the district. But on top of that, I've always liked to go to the college matches. But I'm really glad that. Uh, there's more emphasis on the dual meets now because when we go there, I mean, we always had some good tournament teams, but really not that good at dual meet teams. And now we have a solid dual meet from top to bottom, and we have depth at Ohio State. So I like to, I'll bring 50, 60, 70 of my kids, my youth kids, to a couple of matches a year. Well, that's huge. So that's big for the sport of, of uh, wrestling in Ohio. And mm -hmm. Mark Marinelli always trying to make it happen, man. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to go out and catch Gene some more and look at some of your stuff, all right? Thanks, Deb.